Hey guys, Yoshi here. Today, I'm going to show you how to play inverted guard for the guard retention. Sometimes you may not be able to retain a guard when the time your opponent is coming to the no stars from the outside passes. So, in this case, I want you to be able to play upside down guard. It's not a complicated. If you can understand how to keep the structure like frameworks, it works for you to be able to retain your guard. Okay, let's start with the understanding of the framework in order to play the guard properly. So, what I like to say is this all the time. First, I want to keep my knees, elbows close to each other, like this kind of seated position. If I'm seated on the ground, even though he comes to the guard of pass, like, I just want to keep my knees and elbows close to each other. As long as I keep it, I won't get passed. Plus, I open my knees as well. Although I connect my knees and elbows, if that is too close to each other like this, this is not a good frame. He can easily snap my legs to the side. Then, he's be able to get into inside my frame like this. So that's why I open my knees. It's like her, that's like a, much like her wider than my shoulder stance. Then, I connect my knees though. Either I get my elbows in or out of my knees like this. So the framework, plus the angle. I always like to stay either in front of me or cut one of the sides like this. So this is an ideal situation in order for me to play the guard properly like this. Obviously, if he comes inside pressure, I can easily block it with my arms and legs. Then, still my friend is shut it. Or in front of him like this, this time. If he tries to the outside step passes, I can easily chase him like this. Although he comes in the other, I can block it like this. So either I stand from opponent or cut one side like this. So this is what I like to do. Of course my opponent, like he knows what I want to do. Like he knows how to break the frame. That's why sometimes he just do like a step passes to um, like break my leg frame to the side like this that he cuts into new belly. Or he finds space inside my frame. That's why he's gonna cut in to the knee cut pass like this. Then, it's gonna be a little hard for me to do. Even against the movement, I manage to get my legs in or like a standard angle. The other way, sometimes he may approach like over my head, it's like approaching from above my head. So in that case, it's gonna be way harder for me to retain my guard. Let's say like this. He grabs my pants like this. Although I connect my knees and elbows, once it comes to the nose south, look, my frame doesn't point in decent direction. So he's to be able to drive his way on me. He passed my guard. This is a problem, it's very common. When a time you need to switch to upside down. So he comes to the guard pass. I manage to keep my knees and elbows close to each other. Then when he comes to the side, let's say around my hip level, that's okay, I can still make the frame then come back in front of him. But sometimes he may pass above my shoulder line. That's gonna be the problem. He comes to the side. Like, obviously from this position, it's getting harder for me to use my legs. I want you to see that. I still keep my knees close to each other, but from this position, probably he wants to drive his left shoulder in, then he breaches my frame. First, I need to retreat this action. I use my hands to block this side like this. Then, if I can find a space between me and him, I still look for the basic idea that I come back in front of him, as if I do a reverse hip escape. But he does a good job. He blocks my right leg properly, that's why I cannot get in. Now I get upside down. I will see the situation. As I make this type of frame, I should be able to get, like tuck my head inside, like under his body. That means I can swing my leg over. By the time I get upside down, I want you to see that I want to replace my arm frame with my sole like this. As I do so, I use three points on my body, like hands and like hurt like this, which is pretty strong. Although he tries to bridge my frame, it's pretty difficult to do that. I can do bench press motion with extension with one of my legs. After I like this, now I come back in front of him as if I do a reverse hip escape. Although he tries to block my right leg, I have more leverage that he can make the frame like block. Then I come back to the original position. Okay, I show you again. Let's gonna be a little faster. So I keep my using close to each other, like playing a spider or car sleep. He comes in no sus. First, you chase the side like this. 
I don't want you to get flat on the mat at the beginning of the time. Like chasing him like this. Then next, I will see the side. You're gonna swing the leg. That's the outside hat. Like this. Then in this time, I don't want you to stretch your body as if you're pushing yourself away. If you can, that's great, but most of the time, you're under the pressure. As you do so, you're resisting against the pressure. Can you drive it on me? So, if I try to push myself, it's just a matter of time to get past. That's why I don't like to tuck my head in to hide the space. So, he drives well on me, then I put my head in. As I do so, there's been more space on my right side. That enables me to use my right leg, like this. Then, once I set up, I'm gonna come back in front of the bone like this. So this is the first one I like to do upside down in order to retain a guard. The next one, so much like harder situation, that I need to get proper upside down. All right, next one is a stop in the second line. Last one, I show you how to stop your point like around your shoulder line. So your point past the shoulder line. So you can no longer do the last one. I want to show you that. So here, he comes to the side, he pass over my shoulder line. Then from this position, if I try to do the same thing, I want you to see that. Although I can push his shoulder away, it's not easy to reach his shoulder. Then next thing what he wants is driving wet on me. I will get past, I want you to see that. My frame is completely open. So I can no longer play my guard. So in this situation, once it comes out, no sauce like this. There are two choices. If you can still push your shoulder away, that's great. Or sometimes it may be a little difficult. In that case, I want you to push the front legs away like this. If that's side away, I want you to start with pushing the shoulder. Even each of them is fine to do that. Then this time, instead of swinging the leg, I want you to raise your hips up. Even if that is difficult, you can start swinging your leg like, like this. Then the best case scenario, I want you to kick the shoulders away, put the shoulders away like this. Then you can use your legs like a leg press against his body weight pressure. I can resist it like this. Then after going like this, I turn my body to come back in front of him. Or sometimes I may not be able to find a space that he starts coming more like chest to chest like this. So it's getting harder for me to reach it. In that case, I'm going to put one of my legs inside his frame. This time, I use this side of my leg around here. I return the action, but there's been more pressure on me. So now I use one of my feet. Near side, if I can, I wanna put my hook in like this. Like making a hook behind me. Or other side, as I move my head in more, and then I put my head in. Once I can get one of them, I can make the frame axis that I can come back in front of me. So from this position, I want to come back in front of him. Well, which is not difficult. Since I got this hook, I can rotate one of the sides. Then I want to see how I rotate properly. If I make the hook with my left leg, I can move my head to the right side to come back in front of a point like this. If I go to the opposite side, I will get smashed myself. So this is a wrong example. I want to see that. Right, if I go to the side, the same side as Mega Hack, Larry gets stacked. Then he can come to something like Smash Pass or their leg drag. That's why I want you to remember the opposite side of the hook you make. Now, let's just start from the beginning. So here, he grabs my leg, he comes to the nose, he passes my shoulder line like this. Either push the shoulder away if that is difficult, just like chest or leg, whatever it's possible to make the gap between you and your opponent. He drives back more and more like this. So in this case, you swing your leg up, then make a hook behind his knee. Then from this position, swing to come back in front of the opponent. I want you to make sure that after you come back, you make the framework again. Knees and elbows are close to each other. You don't need to push your opponent away. Otherwise, there's another risk. He's be able to come like this. Even this time, I get upside down to come back. Yeah, the third one, it's like way worse than the last two of them. I wanted to manage the first one or the second one, but I think that's a good job. He already come to no sus. Then he even got his knees on the mat like this. So I'm about to get past. Then I want you to even see that I can no longer even get my legs in from this position. So the first thing what I have to do is retreat this action. Just similar to the last one, either I push the shoulder away like this, or if that is difficult, I want to push his hips or something away. 
If you need, you can even grab the material like this. That's gonna be a little help for you to retrieve the action. Then I want you to see this. This is, there is no space between me and him. That's why if I try to get my hurt in at this space, he can easily block my legs out. Then I will get past. That's why in order for me to avoid, I wanna temporarily open my frame. It's like moving to the opposite direction from the main side. So since he drives away on me like this, I about to like her lose the frame, the chest is just he's making it. So in that case, I push him away, then look how I move myself down like this. I just want to change the structure. I don't want him to stay like right above my chest. That's gonna be worst case scenario, I can no longer use my legs. That's why with the grips or with my hands, I push, the, I move myself away like this. You can even try several times like a shake it, one, two, like this. The once I can get my head in the same area as his head, like this, this is the ideal situation I can get upside down. Look how my lower body is completely free now. So from this position, I swing my leg to get upside down. Then either kick the shoulder away or make the hook like I showed you. I want you to be able to get your leg in. Like this. Probably stay from this position, he puts his way on me. Like this, but this is a battle. You cannot compromise. Although he tries to drive his way on me, get the leg in like this. Then another way, if you can cross your leg in front of your partner like this, that's gonna be one of the best ways to be able to read the pressure. So for the action, he puts me like this. Then the side I was going to make the hook behind the knee, that comes cross side like this. Okay. Once I make the, I can put the bar between me and him. My right leg, I turn it. So he cannot make the chest to chest. Although he tries to drive it away on me, of course it's not easy situation, but I don't want to compromise not to get past. Once I set up, either I swing my legs more to raise hips up to push me away, or I use my soul to kick him away. Then I should be able to make the space. Then I want to see the situation how I play. It looks really weird, but knees, Elbows are close to each other. So this is the basic idea of the guard retention. Now I remaking it. But position itself is not that good. I don't wanna stay here for a long time. That's why I'm gonna rotate. We swing this leg, or more like pivoting my hips to the side. And then I can retain the position. All right, now let's combine three of them. Like we're going to pick up step by step. Okay, the first one, he comes around my shoulder line. So in this situation, chase him, stay sideways. Then tuck your head in. As you tuck your head in, you can swing the outside leg. That enables you to kick the opponent's shoulder away. After you go like this, come back in front of the opponent. This is start at the first line. The second line, he only comes over my head, no south, like this. So make sure you keep your knees close to, then block your opponent away. Either push your shoulder or hips away to retain your motion. Then from this position, slide raise your hips up to kick either shoulder or like make the hook like this. You know, once you make hook, you can retain the action. After you go like this, I want you to rotate the decent side to recover the position like this. Then next one, it's way worse. He comes to no south. Although I treat the action, he's getting on his knees. Like this, I want to retain, yes, like this. Like the Lucas Barbosa in this kind of situation. So first you retain, make the frame like this. Then I don't think you can do the last one as it's really close to first, make the frame to push yourself away. You can extend your legs like this, swing up. Look how I slide down. My head comes, my head comes around his headline. That's the ideal situation. Now I'm gonna get upside down to get my head in like this. If I can come back, that's great. If that is difficult, I put my leg to the other side. Once I put my leg other side, I can do it against the pressure. Oh, he puts the weight on me. I make the frame between me and him. I connect my knees and elbows like the time from the beginning. After like this, I swing my leg. As I pivot my hips, then I can come back in front of the opponent. All right, this is how to play invited guard in order to retain the guard. Of course, invited guard is not the technique. You can use like all types of body weight, body size, but it's good to know as an option. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please just hit the like button. Give us any comment down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you've done it yet. Thank you. Catch you guys next one. Bye.